clinched at that point in the feature. We'd have to look. This is always a tough night for Eric because he's got to count. All right, heat race number two has got the 12 of Ross Lamont on the pole. 89, that's the second place man in points, Ryan Finley. 25, your point leader, Sean Bauer. 10, your quick qualifier, Steve Dixon. 44, Todd Snow. 57, John M. Featherston. 534, Adam DeLubeck. And we are ready to go to green out of turn four. Ryan Finley with a whole shot into the lead, bounding around in turn two. Steve Dixon on the way. Bauer on the bottom, he knows the deal. He don't gotta push it too hard here, just get through it. Side by side, all the way to about fifth. Here's Ross Lamont looking for the lead. Dixon with a run off the hill in two. You're racing each other, you're racing the clock in this race too, we'll talk about that when we get a minute. Steve Dixon into second. Dixon push it on Finley to one. Finley gets away as Dixon lifts. Bauer and Featherston race for fourth. Finley leads the way. Halfway next time by. Chief on the way into 10 car trying to edge ahead of Lamont. Gets a little high in two, gives it back to Ross Lamont. Four up, four to go. Halfway home for Ryan Finley, doing everything he can in that 89. Dicks it into second. Oh, look out! He has a wheel issue on the right rear, I believe. And it'll drive, of course, with the front end. But I think that right rear, maybe the hub or something of that thing, spun off. Yellow's out. Ah! It has been that kind of year for Steve Dixon. He's been the fastest guy not to win a feature this year. No offense to anybody else. Nobody touched him. He just went in the corner and spun her out. He's led a few, and he's broke out in the bandits. If you've not been here, here's what happens with this bandit class. You're racing each other, right? But then you're racing the clock. You can't go faster than 16,499, or that's called a breakout, just like in drag racing, so to speak. Go faster than that, you break out. Dixon's had a lot of that happen to him this year. A couple times in qualifying, a few times in features, a couple times he's won, been leading the race in the feature at the end, and he's been broke out. Fast qualifier tonight, and look what happens. Oh, man. You want to look out on this restart if that 12 doesn't go. They've had engine troubles on that 12 car once this year. Would not be the first time. You hope that's not it, but it's hard to think that it's not. All right, here we go. Three to go. Ryan Finley in the lead. Coming around, coming around, back to green. The Bauer got out of there. Now, the Bauer's car may not be running real well either, but he got out of there. Lamont loses a couple spots. John Featherston looking for the lead to the inside of Ryan Finley. Two laps to go. Bauer's car, the point leader, popping and cracking. John Bauer's car popping and cracking a little bit at the back of the field but it's not gonna matter, it doesn't appear. Battle for the lead, one to go. Finley ahead of Featherston. Lamont's car just trying to hang on. Checkered flag coming, Ryan Finley will win it. Finley gains five, but even if the 25 of Bauer doesn't start the feature tonight, the most Finley could gain if he wins the feature is 50, and that would put it at a tie, I believe. So he's doing all he can by golly in that 89 car. 
He's on a big rock, Illinois, and that is all. That's not decals. His dad, Pat, is a very talented sign painter, car letterer, and that's all hand-painted. That's a beautiful car. How about it for Ryan Finley? <laughs> Pat lettered a lot of the great cars from back in the day, Mark Martin's car among them in the late models, and it takes such an incredible talent to hand-paint anything like that. And that is beautiful. All right, here we go. It's sportsman time. This is the point battle of the night. 